Yo, Josh X Slave here back again. So for today's video, uh, or maybe this will be added on to one of the other videos, we'll see. But for today, really, I guess we're just getting into some more of the garage organizing. So, so let me kind of probably zoom out here for you guys. So we've got all the old sink and everything moved out. We've got the shelves put up. Uh, there's nothing too organized on that shelf besides the heads there. Um, that's the GSR head that I just picked up. K24, uh, I think A4 head that I'm going to use to port and polish on to practice myself so I can do um, other heads. And that is the GSR head for the um, LSV Tech Integra build. And this whole shelf here, not the top shelf, but the whole shelf right here and probably a little bit more is also for that build. So we have everything from the flywheel clutch, LSV Tech kit, auto to manual mount, timing belt, water pump, uh, clutch pedal. You know, so basic device speed conversion. The transmission still sitting over there. It's actually in between them two fans. Uh, we're going to toss it on the bottom shelf. That head's there is fine. I'm just going to use that shelf for any and all heads for any builds. I know what's what, so that's not a, not an issue. Excuse me. Um, I still have that white shelf over there to delete and get rid of. That should be able to come onto the here as well. I just got rid of this shelf. That is a paint drawer. And then I have that filing cabinet there. So I'm going to find somewhere to put the filing cabinet. I'm hoping I can squeeze it actually into here. We're going to see. I'm going to scoot that all the way over take some measurements. Um, but that would be really nice. I do plan on getting rid of that refrigerator. Pushing that against the wall. I got a little cooler. I want to stick on it. But actually I'll probably go this, this way. So we're going to come. Oh yeah. But um, so we're going to take what I'm thinking is this. This way a little bit more that on that end with a cooler on it and then to have the toolbox and the file cabinet under it if not maybe the filing cabinet on top of uh, the desk as well we will see the shelves will stay remaining here as far as i'm aware but i guess that's that for now i uh, hopefully i'm having plans on the bottom shelf on this i'm hoping there's enough room um, all that none of that's really staying that's done there besides that block right there as a trash block I was going to use for smocking up something. I don't quite remember, but it's just a trash block for whatever And that's just some towels. So that's not staying and neither is that little bin there as far as I'm aware um, But I'm planning to put the transmissions down there The bin will go up here along with some other bins and then this whole top shelf will be like my other things uh, like little gas cans fluids some grinder things saws and the top will also have available for uh, bins as well so that bin might actually go because it's not too heavy that bin if anybody remembers is from the k20a2 that we stripped so it's got the whole co uh, oil conversion kit and all that other stuff in it uh, 50 degree vtc um so on and so forth so that probably go up here i have another little bin laying right here that I need to go through and actually put into a bin or f work out what get this bin organized and it will go either top or whatever um, I might use the bottom shelf of this so I plan to have these couple of shelves just for when a build's going on so I can keep track of the build stuff uh, but also I still have a little bit of plenty of room in the cabinet as well for stuff like that as well so I'm planning on maybe uh, maybe even putting a transmission or two down here and again, also, I still, if I need to, I still have that shelf I could use, which is just that white one. Kind of zoom in on it. It's got like intake manifold, valve gaskets, stuff like that on it. That's a carpet for the EG build. Yeah, it's carpet for the EG build. Uh, closet door there, and then closet doors there go in the house. I need. I uh, took them off to make an open pantry instead of a closed pantry. I still technically have this shelf here, and it used to be labeled. Sorry about that, guys used to be labeled so we could probably set this somewhere else as too maybe we'll get rid of the white shelf and have just this but i feel like i don't quite have the room there but we will see um and then this side i want to keep this side fairly clean that way i can lay like the radiator and stuff like that over here maybe a header every now and then once the civic build's done this will no longer be needed i just temporarily needed this to hold a bunch of the plastics and random junk like old headlights and clutch cylinders and stuff Nothing too serious there. I plan to, the whole plan for doing this is to open up that white spot there. So I don't think I put it in the shelf back there because the plan is to open up that spot there for this to go to, uh, for this air compressor to go to. 
So this will go over there, and then I will run a line to this right here, the supply air, and then I will also have a second air truck for whatever reason needed. And I'll still have my other, my you know, my everyday air compressor you guys see there with that hose as well. So I might get um, hang something up on that wall, so I can probably just roll the hose up around it. And then that air compressor I will probably just store in my shed. Um, Civic build, as you can see, I haven't had too much time to mess with it. The uh, what's next? Painting the jams. That's pretty much the next step. Getting the jams painted. Uh, but I want to go ahead and get the body done, primered, block sanded one more time before we paint the jam so I don't have to tape off as much and worry about as much overspray with the primer layer. Yeah, just learning as you go, teaching yourself things. Um, and as for the Integra, the boost in the Integra, she's running just fine. So I guess that's it for this update. There's nothing too much more. So basically, this is just the garage cleanup. And uh, I'm out of here, guys. See ya. All right, garage cleaning video updates. I'm organizing the shelves. So this is fairly organized. We might end up moving this little bit and moving this up here because we still have uh, some more integral parts to bring. We have um, the EG now to bring. Um, so we'll see. We'll just see where we are on the space. Uh, this EG, everything is on that shelf. It's not going anywhere. That shelf will probably always be there. We'll see, but I like that shelf. So right now I'm just organizing things. So I've gotten the heads organized. I've gotten, I guess, come wide view here. I've gotten like this portion kind of organized. These ain't quite staying. This is just kind of a space for now. Uh, so I will have kind of a space of power tools. The tape ain't staying or this. So the power tools stuff kind of be in this area. And then I'll have some just random stuff uh, like probably that sprayer and stuff. You know, the sanders there. Has some of that stuff here. I've got a space for all these pipes. I'm thinking maybe on this little corner here because I don't plan on getting another head, but you never know. Uh, but we'll see because they're just kind of all hanging out right here. I have a bunch of valve covers. The plan is also to completely delete this shelf here to come. So all the valve covers are coming here. The intake manifolds are coming here. Um, I do plan to get, I got bins, so I do plan getting the bins out. A lot of stuff is going to go in the bins, and this is going to stack right on top of here. I do got to get a few more bins, um, heavy bins. That's what this bottom shelf is for, heavy bins and transmissions. Uh, that bin's very, very light. That's from the K2018 stuff, so it's just going to slide right up there, or maybe right in here. Who knows? I just got to get in here and work with it. That's not staying. That's just some old clothes that I use for rags if I have a spill. And those are just little pieces of tile. That, oh no, I'm sorry, not tile, uh, granite that are not staying as well. And then, then I have this bucket, which has a lot of random stuff in it as well. I'm gonna go through that, get it into a proper bin, and get it to how it needs to be. And then that bin will probably go into the shed or something. Uh, and here, we get a lot of that clear, cleared off, as you can tell. Um, this right here is just literally a bucket of quarter inch sockets. I have no idea what to do with it. I don't have, even have a quarter inch wrench. But they come in handy from time to time. Um, this toolbox needs to be completely redone. That one kind of needs to be redone. Not really. Yes and no. I done organized a lot of this shelf. Um, this still has to go over there. That still has to go over there. But organized most of this shelf already. I've just kind of like laid some things up top. Which makes it look like it's not too organized per se. Uh, but this right here is the paint for the Civic. EG headlights. That, or I'm sorry. Mirrors that I've been sanding. And these are just some mats I pipe plan on putting inside of the car. And then that there's a speaker that actually is going into that one box sitting way up there. That bin needs to be slid in there. I want to completely clear off everything up there. I want to move that and move all these shelves. All this needs to be taken down and completely redone as well. Yay me. And then this box. Uh, around the 240. Yep, yep. Time of the 240. <laughs> um, I... I'll turn it into a mess as you can tell so it's time to get it put back together for the most part there's still just some things in the drawer the way they should be heat shrink and whatnot wires um these might be a buddies i don't think these are mine i might need to start hollering at some friends i think i know whose it is um but for the most part i got stuff where it is but up here is up here and down there is just a complete disaster and under here is just parts.
and pretty much this whole side, this like black, um, these are black seat belts for the Integra, replacement door handle for the Integra, my Integra. Um, I don't know why that's in here, to be honest. It needs to go to the shelf. And yeah, I guess that's it. And then on that side, it's just like a, a paint thing, like a little mask, which I plan to put that type of stuff under here. It's just a mask and some rags, really. Um, I guess a fuse box. There's, oh, and a couple banners I still got to put up and some mineral spirits. Um, so, as you can tell, I got a lot of work to do. This shelf is probably going to the shed. If it doesn't work out too well in the shed, it will be going to the scrapyard, trash, whatever. I don't care. Because <laughs> um, it is kind of flimsy. Um, like, I mean, it's just... As you tell, it's all over. Because, I mean, again, it is, it is pretty flimsy. So, I guess that's that. I'll come back on this when it's time. Maybe I'll set up for a... Time lapse since I actually have the stand now. Finally, um, actually, I should be using the little holder too, so I, you know you guys get that nice side view or whatever. Uh, that's typically what I use like this right here for. And then I have an iPad one if I want to film on my iPad. And also have a little mini stand too for I guess lower ground work. So I could technically put it on that and get you guys a little bit, however you like it, but without straining my shoulder and arm and it all in your face <laughs> and kind of hide it back and you can see me so i guess that's it for now i do want to get another you can kind of see the light difference from the side to the corner so i want to get another light on this side the way it is right there right here and i want to get one more um probably kind of on the back side here is what i'm thinking just kind of like right in this area to really light lighten up all this especially more on this side because this will be workbench really so i guess that's it you guys know what i'm doing and um another talking video all right and we're back again so this is going to be part of the garage cleanup so let me flip you guys around so i still have some stuff over in this area to move um it's kind of in the corner nothing nothing major really it's just that, that fenders for Decay swap EG. These will just kind of move back some more. That chair is going to go over into this corner here. Um, that's just like random stuff, you know, outside stuff, yada yada, some speakers. Um, and then this is Integra. This is also, that's Integra. That's just empty for now. And then that's the EG, I guess, uh, hatch parts. And then that's just miscellaneous. And over here we have a K20A2 block, B series trans, K trans, and K trans. LSV GSR head for the project Integra, which you can't see right now. And just a K24A4 head, I believe, that we're going to use for porting purposes and things like that. Uh, just learning experience. And then there's some internal pieces to that transmission. It needs uh, some new synchros. We have. All this kind of lined up. Uh, that's all types of piping. I believe that's still empty. That's K20A2 uh, parts, fluids, some car wash stuff I don't quite remember for. I still got to organize and, and do this shelf. But up here, just organized in each little bin, you have some valve covers uh, for K series and a K24 timing cover. And then right here is just another valve cover. And some type S intakes along with some bolts. And then that's just a, um, a sprayer which I haven't used yet. And EG parts and Integra parts. This right here, uh, this is out just because we're going to be using a lot of this. For the EGs, I decided to leave it out. Same thing with the sandpaper there. But this right here is kind of a dog. Uh, when I got my welder, it's kind of what I've done to, I guess, burn the welder. Up here we have our two little buckets of basically rags. We got some things to add to it, some things to pull out of here and get this uh, back to its glory. Some things we've got to organize. So I guess that's it for this side. Over here we still have all of this to do for the most part. Um, so those tool boxes, organize that, get some things in there, as well as organize and get this whole desk here cleaned off. I think it 
that we will also be moving the bolt bucket to this table which you can't see right now uh, this is EG carpet and some floor mats I need to take to the shed we got a filing cabinet under here that we haven't got things into but like the stickers and a lot of other little things like that's gonna go in there and then we have our other red toolbox there which a lot of that needs to go in there and then that toolbox full of tools and that needs to go to the shed as well and we'll just have the jacks here that's going to be fixed and organized because a lot of it's in there we're going to get that back to where it needs to be and obviously we have just our standard eg shelf that's been here eg stuff that's still it's been here we moved the k motors from the middle also the air compressor to this edge and um this is the EG bumper, which needs to be taken apart and sanded and ready for paint. Also has a lip. So we're going to start tackling some of this. Uh, monster cool that's up and going. I'm sure you can hear it. So let's get to it.